Hi everyone and welcome to our Pit Science YouTube channel. In this video, we will be talking about string object, the type of operator, limitation around strings, and string addition and concatenation. If you are new to the JavaScript or if you are just looking for a refresher, I hope this video will be helpful. So, without further ado, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. A string object is a sequence of characters. It is the most basic type of text data in programming. Text in JavaScript. You can tell anything in the text form in JavaScript. If you want to process anything, you use string object in JavaScript. String can be enclosed in single quote, double quote, or triple quotes. So let's see some few examples. There's a simple constant, and I'm making it, uh, creating a variable also. So with whatever you write within quote, that becomes same example, if you put that in a single and also string. The other example is with this is a template. Okay, this is string different letters. So if you use this, that also becomes string. Understand this within the double quote, I have written single quote. So always remember when you are starting the quote and ending the quote, it should be with that same quotation. It can be double or um, can be single. Other way, if you are starting with single quote, it has to be in by single quote. You can put anything inside. Other way we can create a string is with string function. So this is a string function. I have written a function. Within that, I have uh, put some intent. This is one way to create a string. Okay, the last example. S is with new string. New string is a string object. So with that, you actually created an object, not a string. But this object will show that string. This type of will tell you what is the type of that. If you run this, you will get also string. Third is also string, but fourth one is the parameter, which is a object. So this is a string object. So how to get that value? It is by using parameter dot value of. If you write, then you will probably get the value of that. This time, this type of becomes a string. Mostly, you will always use the string or the simply with the uh, literal uh, assigning the value. See this example. const s1 I have written a number. So, this becomes a string. This will not be treated as a value okay, or number. So, this is a primitive type. So, understand this. these all are primitive type. But this is a wrapper class. Same example with putting in new string. But what if, if I want to evaluate this one? So we have a evaluate function eval. Eval is a function to evaluate what is there in that uh, value. It can be string, it can be number, it can be any special character, it can be anything. Whatever there, it will evaluate that when If that, there is a value present inside that. So I know this has some numbers, so let's evaluate this one. So it will calculate whatever that it will say for. But in this case, new string, it will not create. So this will give me a value. So how to get that value? So value of is one, one method, another is two string. Okay. Both work same, but only difference is two string will convert to string. Value of will convert to value. So when you are evaluating something, then always use this. Some limitation around the string. See, when we write undefined in, inside a string, this is a string function. If I write undefined inside, this will remain undefined. And when you write null, that also becomes null. And what if, if you write some Boolean value? You can write true or false as, as well. That will also become yeah, true value. Same goes for false value. So now we know the elementation on the string. These are the limitation means uh, you cannot work with these things. But some interesting fact with that is, can you tell me this, what would be the value of this one? If I try it, plus one. What would be the value of this string? False plus one. False plus one is true. No. Why? Why? Because zero means false 
one means two. So if you write two here, that will become what? Addition of that. So it will get two. Let me give you the same more example. Try these things. See this one plus one simply you write that will become three. And two plus one become two. False plus false false will become zero. False zero plus zero is zero. This one becomes two false. And this one becomes twenty-two. So this is interesting. If you concatenate something with, with the string, that becomes a string. That doesn't become uh, a new type. So this is a boolean and this is a string type. Unconcatenating both. That eventually become a string. Same goes for this. So this plus operator is also playing a role with the string. Why? Because when we are evaluating or we want to convert, these are conversion rules happening inside the JavaScript. So if you write plus and you want to concatenate, use this plus to do the concatenation. There is concat string, concat function method is also there. But you can use this way also. That's all for this video. I hope you learned a little bit about JavaScript. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.